Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Fork Pond. Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Uh, did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Uh, no. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Okay. Yeah. I will call you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Firewatch. Now, day three, we are boarding up a broken window. Hey, Henry? Yes, Delilah. Yep. Um, what do you look like? Why Is this the asking? equivalent of because what are I'm you wearing? Because I'm superficial. Uh, if Tom Cruise, like Burt Reynolds, Tom Cruise I had a good looking Tom twin. Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, yeah. well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. I mean, that's about as generic it's as it hot. gets. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, yeah. you know, PC or what if whatever I'm, they say. Uh, oh my god, you are the else. whitest man. Wow, I don't need a spotting scope for that. If yeah. you got shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Is he a jeans guy? Uh, I try to look nice, usually. I feel like he doesn't really think about it. Now this can't be that hard. Clothes! I don't really think about it. Oh, come on! I got a sweatshirt I like. Good jacket I got at the Buckle Barn. Ooh, I love the Buckle Barn. Just one of those brown ones, you know? I do. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. Why are you what looking at me? Why can't you see? You're uh, looking at me across the bar. Hmm. This is so weird. Uh, thin mustache and long scar. Let's say my nose has been broken. Uh, I got a broken nose. He seems nose. like the guy. Bad or anything, but yeah, that yeah. looks How like he would have broken Your his nose. Your illustrious boxing career. Huh. I wish. No, I a guy was drunk and jumped on my back, and I slipped Ooh. and ate a parking meter. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Oh, well, if you're, you're drawing me... Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Okay, let's see. Um... Oh, tired. He has tired eyes. They look tired, I think. Oh, yeah? Because Yeah, I'm you know, tired. you hit a certain age and you just... You think you're a younger person who just looks tired all the time. Mm. Oh, speak for yourself, mister. Yeah. But I guess that's getting old. I don't feel well, tired all the time. some people might Maybe seem I'm distinguished. I also okay, get enough sleep it. these days. Thank you, Henry. So. You're you welcome, you Delilah. Absolutely. Cool. I mean, I could have told her anything. All she knows is I'm a white guy that wears shorts right now. Oh, good thing the nails were already in the boards. I don't think the nails were already in the boards. I think we're just, uh, we're just, what do they call that? Like, friction welding it straight to the wood to wood. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, oh boy. Yeah. What a Why job. Don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. I'm ready. Okay. I was I think born I am ready, ready for to this. tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Yes. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Actually, you know, I'm going to hike around for a while before I really put my nose to the grindstone. Oh. Huh. Yeah, you do that. Okay, um, I'm gonna just say I'm really ready now. Is there anything else to explore here? Let's see, we could take this trail, the thoroughfare trail, down to the trailhead. We could maybe try to cross this river, although we couldn't get through it from the medicine wheel. We need some kind of machete or something. We could maybe hike down to Jonesy Lake or down Thunder Canyon. Um... But there's not really, I mean, there's one more cache 
305. Oh, there's 308, 307 across the river. I'm gonna just say I'm ready. Yeah, because we'll probably get to that in a, okay, in a, now I'm in ready. a day or two or whatever. Good. Now get to work. Perfect. I'm ready. Day nine. Wow, okay. From day three straight to day nine. It's been a week. Oh. It looks so nice. Hello, I just found Henry. his groove. Having a nice afternoon? Wow. Look at that sunset. Oh, we're taking a picture of that. Oh, 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 reply, reply. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, mm. Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Hmm. Uh, you should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Yeah. I caused them some trouble, but nothing major. I never even got very close to them. Yeah, I couldn't even well, see them, really. They were so far off in the lake. One stereo, that's it. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? No, go ahead and... It's worth mentioning. I yeah, if I was the last person to see something. them. Like, it's their life on the line. Yeah. Like, if I'll, they can... Uh, if talking to me helps I'll them stay take. alive and then they really see me, whatever, at the least cops. they save their life. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Oh, I will. I'm going to enjoy the sunset so much. Day 15. Whoa, things are jumping fast. It's been another week, pretty much. Henry. Henry, Get a text. Wake up. Oh, 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 it's night. What's up? Get out of bed and pick up the radio. What's happening? What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. Is there a fire? Oh, I'm gonna say hi, Julia. No, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll say hi. Hi, Jules. Oh, you sound tired. Oh, it's Julia. It mm. is Julia. I am. Are you having a nice time? Some weird stuff. Uh, I don't know. There's some weird stuff going on. Oh, that's too bad. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it'll be fine. <sighs> well, He's I'll so let you get back to her. sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Must have been a dream. Day 33. Unless the communications got patched up and I actually got to talk to her. But it would be like a rare lucid moment for her to call me or remember me. Especially if I'm not around. Hike north to retrieve supplies. Is it too supplies. much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're Whoa. out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes... Let me jump. Jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. Wow. She's, like, really precise about it. must have a really regular she digestive She'd be job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh. Yeah, six prunes and a wheelbarrow of marijuana every day. What so, a life, right? like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You Ooh. were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. Mm. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Oh, wrong button. Shouldn't be here. Let's just say I am. It I sounded am. like Good. he was kind of peaceful in the dream. Oh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. I'm gonna start climbing. Oh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. 
He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. Sounds relaxing. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette, and for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he was our neighbor. I've just lied about it for That's rough. over 10 years. And uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Mm. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both up. Mm. Yeah, people don't, people don't take jobs like that. I thought that was a smoke. I thought that was a smoke stream, but it looks like it's just the stitch between two of the panoramas they use for the backdrop. That's funny. Um, yeah, I mean, people don't tend to take I'm two forks. End day. Report heading home. Found the supplies. Oh, good. People don't take jobs uh, like this enjoy. out in the middle of nowhere with no one around. Unless they want to be out away from people. Alright. I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? I mean, mate, about wow, two months have passed. I kind of wonder what happens if you take the other ones. You've got a front row seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yay! Yeah, it's really going. Great. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. Oh, which and way is that? She doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. We're looking. But why um, don't you do the honors? Well, let's name it. The flapjack fire. So, no ideas, huh? Uh, maybe we call it the flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> I said I did. It's funny. Fire. Fair enough. I love this. Flapjack fire it is. Oh my You'll goodness. Probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, mm. and let it chill in there all day. Sounds and nice. Then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. Man, I've been drinking water because it's nice and cool. That's the Fe. only reason. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. It's not a huge You'd margarita. Like it it's like a pitcher a person. Oh, you can start flirting with her. I'm no, sure I'm sticking would. Sticking with Julia. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yes. Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. It's true. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, mm. but... <sighs> I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Um... Like we don't have As to plan coworkers, or even talk about it. I'm, maybe we can meet up. I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. It'd be nice to be near somebody. We could talk about these radios. We mm, could. Uh, Delilah seems like she's normal. You know. I'm not gonna. Uh, 
be nice to be close to someone. Why don't we both just go watch this fire and try to imagine all the old dead things it's burning away? Yeah, Delilah's got a lot she wants to forget about. You're going That's fishing tough. without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That okay. reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? Sure. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear is problem uh, a does euphemism? Does problem actually mean murderer? Like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? Oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. I see where I'm headed. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Okay, I'm headed the right way. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. We can uh, pick up the rest of the trash that we missed last time. There's another bottle of whiskey down here. I'm pretty sure I took the whiskey from before. So, one more bottle. And the fireworks, too. I I'm pretty sure I took these. So, uh, strange, but the backpacks are missing, so they must have packed up, ha, they must have backpacked up and got out of here. I don't need to take pictures. I need to run. I press literally all the buttons except for the run button. It's R to run, and I press shift, and then I press C, and then there was nothing. Okay, let me look for bear tracks. There's a clipboard. What does it say? Did anyone catch that? What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's something strange oh, going on. these are... At the lake? These are notes? Someone has written down what we said to Feelings each other. Feelings for have Henry, been and then they erased that it and put 2H. So uh, D I and 2H don't talk to the other Henry. lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Whoa. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Uh, I'm gonna Henry. keep it. Look for strange noise towards the canyon. Okay, can I can I fish first, please? Can didn't I didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean they can be fun, but also you know, devastating. This is the way, right? There's a radio. Regardless, just let me know, okay? I found a walkie talkie out here too. Uh okay. It's going house. I mean, oh, if they're on our frequency, they could have been already, listening to us. We'll <laughs> I, I've been hit on the head. Twice. <laughs> oh, man. Henry, oh. <laughs> Sorry there? for the mic peek. What happened, What Henry? just happened? I, holy hell, I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. The I radio's know. gone, though. Jesus Christ. Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. Wapiti Station? I saw the Station? name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw okay. that damn fence. It's the fence, it's north though. of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. Okay, cache 305. I'll, I'll start hiking that way now. My head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what, what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. There are people just, listening. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Let's just say why would, why I, would I make, this, make up? this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. It's all this okay, stuff I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were. So, what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship. Friendship, our, our whole summer. Mm. 
That's Someone so creepy. Someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. That's the whole thing is so creepy. <laughs> I'll get to I'll the hike out there and get some answers. Great. But just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? Well, I meant, like, kill anybody. You got it, boss. The fourth estate. Back in there. Old sweater. Let's, all right, we're reading a note. Here we go. Uh, Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out here, out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. P.S. Amigos is Spanish and Professionalis is Italian. Dave. All right, Dave. Thank you for that. Okay. Uh, we got the map info down. So there was a way up over here that I guess doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna check it out real- oh, it was this, so we've already hiked around it. Nice. I like that you can just walk around most of the interactable cliff sides and all that stuff. Alright, let's put a rope here. And then we'll double check the map to see if we need to go down that way. I think we do. That's north, right? Yeah, okay, so we need to go down. Hup. Uh, oh, go down. Oh, I'm pressing the wrong buttons. I was like, go down, please. Please go down. I just can't even press the right buttons anymore. I haven't even had whiskey in the woods or whatever they're drinking out here. Tequila's the size of your... It's a rock stack. I love these things. These are so cool. Man. Someone must have been out here. Someone that loves stacking rocks. It's funny, my dad hates those things. And he doesn't even know why. Like, there's not a good rational reason why you should hate a rock stack in the middle of nowhere. He just, he just does. It's just not his thing. Okay. Uh, damaged tree. Chop it down to make a bridge? Oh, we're gonna get an axe or something. Oh, we're already at the fence. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What, what the f*** is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone Another doesn't want stack. anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he just shoves I, I, it. I don't know how long he can dig around out here. Let me in! <laughs> Firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Uh huh. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn—they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they okay. haven't left, they're South probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Yeah, Wapiti Station. And Delilah didn't even know about it. And the gate is locked up, obviously. Obviously. I'll see if I can break Whoa. in somehow. All right. Be careful. Okay, there is another thing, right? Look, I'm not going to be able okay. to get into this place. South of Ruby. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. All God, the way back. If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the control... All right, yeah. They might be able We've to already... I've already been okay. through this. Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. <laughs> oh, silly me. I've had my flashlight on this whole time. Okay, we'll just slowly shimmy our way up this shale cliffside. With this fancy new climbing rope that we got from Brian's pack. We gotta go back to our station and then keep heading south. So I think the fastest way is to follow this river north and then climb up the sides of the hills. Because then we don't have to walk up the shale stuff. Because that takes forever. We will have to climb a bunch of these little ones and three or four of the big ones. Uh, 
I don't want to. Okay. That nice chill music playing. Surprised they started us off down here and then expected us to run all the way to the other end of the map. It is nice though, I mean it's it's so peaceful. Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Mm-hmm. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Then keep going. Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, hmm. I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never going to let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right. I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. You got it. That's still locked and closed, right? Yeah. Okay. About my radio... Hey, what you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I mean, if they had the turnout or the notes on our that. conversations... Yeah, well, you sound worried. You just turn the no, dial till you hear I'm people. Not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. We probably haven't Whatever changed say, frequencies. Boss. There's no reason. Yeah, uh... I don't know. We could... We could switch I radio frequencies. I could hold up a sign. I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. Mm -hmm. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian. Oh. Just how scared he would have been. Yeah, they might have left early. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Send him yeah, head right. southwest. Right. And then head down across. Okay, so... Whoa, the flapjack fire isn't going anywhere, huh? No, that's why those guys came out to burn that line. It's at the stage where all we can do is pay attention to it. Hmm. They're not going to try to put it out? Not yet, apparently. Okay, I think this is where I'm headed, right? Go south of the Ruby River. This is, goes to Thoroughfare Trail. I don't think I need to go this way, so I'm headed south. I need to turn west. I need to turn west. Okay, so we need to keep going down this way. Right? Is this, this giving the line the right direction? Yeah, okay. And then we need to keep heading south if we can. R for run. Hey, got it first try. Didn't even pull out my radio and then put it away and then pull out my camera and then put it away and then turn my flashlight on and then turn it off and then figure out how to run. Imagine like if something went wrong in your brain and it like mismapped all that stuff. You might end up, you might actually end up with like, you try to run and then you sneeze or like, like weird stuff just like happens, you know? I feel like a little kid, I'm like jumping across the rocks. I could easily have just walked through that water. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna run across these rocks. That was the most chaotic way to put in that code. Okay, copy the map first. Cool. Take the note, let's read it. Let's see what's going on with Ron and Dave. Ron, really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that didn't suck. 
Most of the time I'd prefer to keep the thing pen to paper, but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving me messages at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took the job so I wouldn't have to deal with her or her mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking about what to say to her, but I'm a quarter way through this bottle of Fife's instead. Miss you, Dave. What is read? Oh, it just makes it easier to read. Okay, it makes sense. I did not report the note. There's lots of books here. The Jane Eyre, nice. Toilet paper, okay, there's nothing to report. So I'll just close it. And this is the burn line that they did. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks now that there's someone in it. I would not well, like I'm to be burned extra alive. extra appreciative of that. Yeah, Let's no see. kidding. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Okay, Got that's it. this way, right? What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Southeast. Someone gets fired. Scout camp. Well, you know what? Let's go. Oh, oh no. Couldn't reply in time. No. I was too busy looking at my map. Ah, oh, feels bad. Um, let's go to Cottonwood Creek and pick up cash 308 first, and then we'll go to scout camp. So that's west. So we'll head this way first. You can't map and run at the same time. No human being on Earth named Henry can map and run at the same time. Especially the ones that prefer not to go by hand. Wow, look at that huge tree. Oh, it was all burned. It didn't look charred though. Okay, we cross the river, follow it up. And there should be a supply drop or a supply cache around here somewhere. <laughs> Huge bear comes out of the forest and just mauls me. I'm like, well, I guess I'll die. Okay, here's part of the controlled burn. So we've reached the edge. So it should be right around here, right? Yes? No, there it is. Okay. Wrong button. You can run with a camera. Just can't run with anything else. A oh, four, three, two, one. Uh huh. Nice. I'm gonna copy the map. Just one stray match. To protect the forest. I don't see anything else in here, so it was just to update the map. I guess there's a trail that goes through here to the north, past the burn that connects up. So this is the far side. So this is how I get back. Um, which means we would have seen this anyways. Because I imagine we're going to get the axe at this place, at the fire station camp, firefighter camp thing, whatever it is. Is that still on fire? Big tree. I updated the map with the big tree. I got to see that. Big tree. I love that. There's a ski on it. Can I have it? It's a big, it's a big tree ski. Now it sounds like I'm trying to be clever with the puns and it's just not working out. No, I'm not trying to be clever with the puns. It just is a big tree and it's a ski by the big tree. It's the big tree ski. I wonder, like, what does he do out here all the time? I'm not somebody that can just sit still very easily. So for me, I would be, like, trying to learn a, how to play guitar or something. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. No, it was not. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah? Where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up Pork for it, pond. but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. 
uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good name. That sign would look great in a den or, you know, anywhere. I can't believe people that steal signs because they're funny. It's like mile marker 420 kept getting stolen from one of the California highways, so we have uh, mile marker 419.9. So, okay, I could have reported it in, but now I can't. So, I guess I'll just keep going. And I think I'm headed to the east. Yeah. Because Pork Pond was on my way. Here's the station. Camp. Arapaho. Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. Beware of weebelows in large numbers. Beware of anyone in large numbers. True. The bridge to the camp is out. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. How do I get into the ravine? Oh, I'm looking for one of those like natural rock formations or something. I think. I think that's what I'm doing here. Can't be certain. No, that's not. That's not the right way. Maybe I'll go around the other way. The other way that doesn't seem like it has a uh, map boundary issue. Jump that? Probably jump it. He tried it, he could jump it. There's probably a better way across though. Here we go. He could jump this. No. No, that's the way back though, once we have the axe. Because that tree is half chopped already. Okay, here we go. He said he was looking for high ground, right? Nope, that's not it. Come on now. Come on now. Uh, oh, it is the other way. Okay. Maybe it's at the top of the hill and I didn't realize. That looks like it would have been a great spot to cross, but what do I know? I'm just a guy that plays video games, that's all. Here's the high point. Oh, okay, yeah. The long drop. That's cool. I like that. That's pretty neat. Okay, we can run in here. You ever talked to any of the scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the Weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. What type of nerdy hobbies are we talking about with him? Like, a uh, marching band? Oh, no, 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 no. Like, comics, model rockets, wizards and wyverns, you know. Oh. Wizards and wyverns, hey, thanks nice. thanks to Brian, I can almost recall by memory the armor classes of most dragons. The what? No, wow. you can't. Hey, planar dragons armor class. Let's see. Okay, no, I believe you. We're good. We're good. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. That's messed up. I'm going around. What if I run into Trenchcoat Billy out here? How is he so sneaky? How is he so sneaky that he yeah, can hit me behind the head? I found you know? where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Okay, squad Say boss, Grant note. Carson. Uh, next few days, Dr. Simmons affair at the Wapiti Station. Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. Yep. They're running a research site out there. Uh, mm. He was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that 
that that we don't know about? What are they researching? Maybe they're researching the problem bear. I mean, you and I aren't very interesting. Are we very interesting? Well, you're not. I'm infinitely complex. Maybe they're researching horn toads. Oh, you know, probably just horn toads. And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just what recreation for them? Yeah, I'm just they, messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. Toads. I'm freaking out here. At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Mine too. Yeah. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. A scan for supplies. Is there an axe somewhere? There it is. Hey. I should have called it in first, but I'm just gonna take it. Boom. Now we can chop debris and cut down trees. Whammo! Get out of here! This is my turf! Hi, tree! Whammo! I think I need to cut the other side for it to fall that way, you know? Like, I don't know much about, uh... I don't know much about tree felling. Alright, got myself an axe. Now I can go straight through past Pork Pond. Hey there. I, I had a thought. Oh, what are you thinking? Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Pork Pond. Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. Alright. So, uh, tell me what you think of this. Uh... Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? Uh... No. Oh. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Okay. Yep. I will call you. Alrighty. Whoa. And then two weeks goes by. Man. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the oh fiftieth time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. That's good, though, because that's where Lila, we want it to go. Sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Uh... I didn't sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering I'm if your flora of the violence. Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh-huh. Uh, Looking at uh, it. All right. Yep. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. It is in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Second from the left. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. Okay, no. yeah. No, you don't need to tell me. Just, um, internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that... Maybe you should take a midday oh. hike to. Maybe. The lie was a smart cookie. All right. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. So we're Radio me the moment you get there. Code now. All right. Let's go on a hike towards uh the second from the left top row tree. 
go to Cottonwood Creek, which is... I don't really know where that is. Oh, okay, down in Cottonwood Creek again. So we need to go the same way we went through Cache 307, because we need to cut a tree on the way back out. I had to put my map away so I could slap the board at the top. So we're headed south. This should be south. Yeah. South. Pretty much directly south, actually. But I'd really get to know this area if you were out here for a whole summer. Yep, this all looks familiar. We need to go down past... This... Yep. This is probably gonna have me go around to the right, back to the other supply cache. Oh, we're... we're an explorer, we're jumping. We're... we're hopping, we're skipping. We're moving. Oh, we didn't even get our boots wet. Easy. All right, let's see what we got going on over here in the uh, <clears throat> second from the left top row area. Okay, I'm here, right? Cottonwood Creek. Past the big tree. I heard something in the trees. Maybe it's just the fire because it's moving. It's moving south. Alright, big tree. But they've probably been in my tower. They probably have one of those posters. What we need to do is we need to use one of the telescopes that we have set up in our towers to look at the other one and have somebody write a big number in the tower and say switch to this channel on our radios. And then they won't know what channel we're on. Which, I mean, these radios only have, like, a couple of dozen, so... Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. Well, you see the cash box there? Blew the whole code. Uh, it must be around here somewhere. I do it see is. it. Find it and open it. I changed the code. Oh. It's 5678. Nice. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do you appreciate? Ah! Very cool. Get out of here, old busted radio. I got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy Henry, we have to get into that site. Hey, I got an axe now. You're in on this! Whatever these people are doing is illegal, right? Are you okay? I don't know, Henry. People have been listening to us all summer. How is this actually happening? I don't know. I, I'm... I'm scared. None of it makes any sense. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you, Are you sure? This way, Mark. Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. The state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. Lady so no, troubles, this imagine. This is happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Okay, I'm gonna I'm go find answers. There's no point in asking now that I've got an axe, we'll know something soon. You need to get into that site. Call me when you find something. I should have kept... We should have kept the old radio and communicated on it regularly so that they don't think that we've, like, switched hey, radios out or something. Uh, I just thought of something not, um... Not great. I gotta go to Jonesy. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. 
What? Why would you do that? I told you to say the minimum and just keep it vague. I know. And I didn't. I I, I just didn't want to be hassled. Hmm. And now someone probably has a transcript of that oh, entire conversation. That's true. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Okay. Oh, and those girls are still missing. We'll refile the report, yeah. Delilah. Delilah? Indeed. We really What's need to language? get to the bottom on, of this. Now. now I can't report the strange noise. Delilah, you took too long telling me that you lied. Ugh. Okay, that's fine. Don't need to report the strange noise, I guess. It'll probably show up again. Or I'll be murdered in my sleep. One of those two. Fires do make for really pretty sunset colors, too. I think I gotta go to the lake. Let me pull out my map at the bottom of the Widowmaker. Still wearing my shorts. Okay, break into Wapiti Meadow. Um, you know what? This was the best way to go. Otherwise, I'd have to go to the wrong fence. So, there's a gate there. Okay, so I'll head just up to the lake, up the canyon, or on the coast. Alright, we're good. We know where we're headed. Kind of eerie now after hearing that weird noise. I feel like I've heard stuff like that in real life though. Or maybe it's just a distant memory of having seen somebody play through Firewatch a long time ago when it came out. And by long time ago I mean it came out in 2016 I think. So I probably saw a playthrough then. But you know what, it's just been long enough that it needs to make a comeback. And I've forgotten all of the story. Well, I've forgotten most of the story. Oh, that's pretty though. Let's just take a minute. Hmm. There's some birds out there. I could really use a, a camping trip just to get away a little bit. Maybe we'll go to the cabin in a couple weekends. We had something scheduled, but I'm not sure if we're going to make it. We asked a lot of people in our, in our friend group if they wanted to go, and... Um, most of them, I think everyone but one said they can't. Which is kind of a bummer. I, we asked it like two months before the weekend, right? We're like, hey, does anybody want to go with us to the cabin? We're going. It'd be really fun to have like a young people group out there. And pretty much everyone was like, oh yeah, like we'll check and I'll get back to you. What was that? What could I report? Oh, the fence. Um, and then, you know, it was like three weeks away and we asked everyone like, oh, hey, can you guys make it? With the exception of one person, everyone else was kind of like, oh yeah, nah, I can't, sorry. And I'm like, if you had just booked it two months in advance and told everybody, then you probably could have made it, but whatever. Oh, here we go, boom. I would have tried the lock, would have been easier, but didn't didn't matter smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay. Yeah. Screw it. Oh no. Ah, I got stung by a bee. Okay, let's read this. Um, report a bee sting. Uh, if you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he's, he's on-site, university, equipment-owned. Okay, that's fine. Um, keep it. Can I report the bee sting? No! Why does stuff all happen at the same time? I know it's like real life, but I would just radio in now and say, Hey Delilah, I got stung by a bee. Isn't it a bummer? Ooh, now we're in. We're in Wapiti Station. Everybody. We're currently 
sneaking around the fenced off area of Wapiti Station. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this light on. I don't know what's gonna go on here. It's some kind of government research facility. They've been covering it up. We're gonna get to Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do I'm you gonna mean? not move on. So I'm I don't talking a big, twenty-foot-tall transmission tower. I and mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Oh, true. Why is the ground wet? So they can electrocute anyone in the facility all at once? I uh, hope not. Uh... Well, they're doing something with the soil out here too. It's all gridded off. Uh, who knows what else they're up to? I'm gonna go in order. And there are all sorts of contraptions out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Keep here in the fence, Jiggle. Okay, I'm going to do a sweep of this first. Make sure they're not, like, hiding in the bushes. Okay, there's no one around this thing. I don't trust it. I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring station. No one in here. I think I found the thing they used to track us. Holy you know, you swear, like, a lot. Yeah, no kidding. Not the time, Hank. Anyway, it's called a wave receiver. Looks like it picks up anything that emits a signal. It's got basic orienteering capabilities, everything. Holy. Whoa. Henry? Yeah, holy. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What, what's it after? I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I just I wonder where they are. All, all of their stuff is here. Figure out what that thing does, and then get the hell out. Okay, I gotta report all the other free. stuff to They've you got first. got a row of cots here. I wanna know what that thing finds. Heavy leather belt, You should huh? get out before they come back. Yeah, no kidding. I'm working on it. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Well, they're measuring the barometric pressure, too. Why? Maybe it's just a diversion. Okay. Got a map here that confirms they're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, it's but you I think so. I, I think this thing is responding to something in this pile of crap on the desk. Dig through it. Oh, I don't like that my back's facing the door now. Subjects Henry M and Delilah A. Okay, grab this and run, Henry. Come on. Susceptibility to manipulation? Psychological profiles? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. Okay. What did they say? I got both the reports. Let's get the out of here. Us. There's stuff in here about Julia. Like I'm, what? I'm getting out. Stuff I didn't tell you. This is... What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus! Henry, do you hear me? It says that you, you and your boyfriend are still together. What? We're not. They're messing with us. Yeah. Okay, I'm in the corner. Okay. I'm in the corner. They Hop are. The fence. How do they even know Come who on, he is? Henry. How the hell does this... I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. Oh, dude. This is we so stressful. We should just stressful. burn the place down. Um... Think about it. Look... Maybe that's what they want us to do. 
Yeah, if they're trying to manipulate us. Maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. Let's not do anything crazy. The grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't <laughs> well, think we should do anything. Well, now maybe I don't think undo. we should do anything crazy. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. I wish I could crouch. Ah, so wound up. It's all right. I'm just going to hike back. We have the wave receiver, and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Oh, I don't trust this hike back. I'm running. I am just going to run. I don't trust any of this. Some guy with a gun's going to show up and tell me to get down. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start boogieing. Because if a man with a gun tells you to get down, you better get down. That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh, am I going the right way, though? Oh, it's a compass, too. Nice. It tells me where I'm headed. South, southwest. That's pretty convenient. Well, who needs a compass when you have a fancy monitoring beeping thing? Now I can monitor the monitors. Don't show up and show me off this bridge, please. Oh, oh. just collapsing. Oh, oh. Baby. oh, we made it. Okay, now it's on fire. Yeah. Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. I, mean, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. Uh-huh. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. I didn't start the it fire. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Call it in. Yeah, we call it in. Call it in like any other fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we and saw the smoke. Who started it? What about them? Nope, don't don't what, say anything the about them. Who started it? Yeah. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Working on it. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Oh, day seven. We were already on day seventy-seven, right? I thought the last time they flashed the day sign was day seventy-seven. Oh man. All right. I should have grabbed the bulletin board on my way out. And to use the wave receiver. Cool. Oh man. Well, that that will do it for the end of this episode. And we're just going to have to figure out what in the world is going on next time we pick the game up. So, thank you guys for being here. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you're on YouTube, consider giving me a like and subscribe and comment below what you think about the series. It's uh, one or two clicks for you. It really does help me out a ton. And as always, hopefully you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in the next one.